So it's finally here, Summer Walker Session 33, and I'm so happy to be teaching you how to play this. Thank you for clicking on this video. I am Meek, by the way. Welcome to my channel. I have a bunch of dope guitar tutorials and a bunch of music tutorials. So if you like what you see today, please subscribe. Thank you. Okay, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to play Session 33 from Summer Walker's new album, Still Over It. Great album, great sound, and I was like, I want to teach something by her. I love her. I love her music, and I love the way she uses guitar. Yeah, so check out my Summer Walker guitar tutorial. I'm going to teach you how to play this song. It's only two chords, okay? It's a C sharp major 7, and we got a C minor, okay? And with the C minor, she's playing it two ways. Now, if you watch my How to Play Like Summer Walker videos, you will see how she uses chords, and that's why... Um, I'm gonna be teaching it the way I teach it, okay? Also, I played it a certain way in my cover of it, and I'm gonna teach you uh, the way she plays it on the record, but the way I played it, it's probably gonna be best for you if you were to be covering it with just a guitar, and you know, you're live, or you wanna do a YouTube video, it's probably best you play it the way I played it because it just keeps your rhythm going, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna teach you how to play it like it's played on the record, okay? So, yeah. Let's get into it, okay. And the guitar I have is a Fender Redondo for Inquiring Minds acoustic electric guitar. So yes, you can play this on electric guitar, acoustic guitar, they the same thing, but people always ask me. Um, this is both, this is an electric and an acoustic. But I wanted to use acoustic because it sounds acoustic on the record. So our first chord is going to be a C sharp major seven. All right, check out this chart on how to play it. You're going to play that like this. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to play it. So we're in the C sharp major seven shape, right? So our bass note is going to be on the ninth fret of the sixth string. And she's playing the bass along with her pulling aka okay, strumming patterns to keep the rhythm of the song going. So you're gonna pluck that sixth string. You're gonna pluck that once. After you pluck that sixth string, you're gonna to go to the fourth string and you're gonna pluck that 10th fret once. So it's sixth string, fourth string, okay? After you do that, still in the C sharp major seven shape, you're gonna then play the fourth string, third string, second string. You're gonna be pulling that along with your bass note, okay? So it's gonna be, okay? You're gonna pull that twice, all right? And then after you pull that twice, you're gonna go back to the sixth string. You're gonna pluck that once. And then you're gonna go back to the fourth, third, and second string, you're gonna pull that once. So it's. So that's our first chord, okay? The second chord is gonna be the C minor seven shape, which is just one step back from the C sharp major seven, okay? All right? And I'm playing my C minor seven like this because it sounds mellow and I played it while she was singing, it sounded good. I got my fingers like that. All right, so you're gonna play the same pattern as you played with the C sharp major seven, okay? So it's gonna be. Okay? So we're gonna play the C minor seven like such. We're gonna pluck this bass note, which is the eighth fret of the sixth string. Then we're gonna pluck the eighth fret of the fourth string. All right? Then we're gonna be plucking the fourth string, third string, and second string Along with our bass, along with our bass, we're gonna pluck that twice. And then after we pluck that twice, we're gonna pluck the eighth fret of the sixth string. And then we're gonna pluck the fourth, third, and second string. We're gonna pluck that once. Okay? All right? Perfect. So remember, the way I played it was. in an extra little pool okay and make sure it's in the right time and that's the trick all right but that's how you play it so after we play that C minor seven we're halfway through the loop because the loop is going to just be 
two more chords, okay? So our third chord is going to be a C sharp major seventh again. Play it the same way you played the first C sharp major seventh. Okay? All right, so after we play our third chord, which is the C sharp major seventh, we're going to play our last chord of the loop, which is a C minor, okay? And this is played differently, so, you know, watch carefully. Pretty simple. Okay, it's a dope turnaround. Like I said, you gotta watch my other Summer Walker videos because I show you how to use turnarounds. Okay, let's get into it. All right, so the way you play it is we're gonna be on the eighth fret of the sixth string. Of course, that's our bass, right? So we're gonna play the sixth string, fifth string, fourth string, all right? Six, five, so, and then it is going to be. All right, you play the in, you play that as such. You're going to play the fifth string, fourth string, third string, second string, and first string. You're going to pull all of that at once. So, we're going to play. So, after we play. There's an eh. All right, a deeper eh. All right? So a deeper eh, you know, you're going to play the sixth string this time. You're going to have the bass in it. And then you're going to play the fourth string, third string, second string, or first string. Okay? So let's play that turn around, everything with it. Six, five, four, eh, eh. All right? And that's pretty much the whole song. That is the whole song, okay? Um, in the verses, sometimes she will switch up how, you know, she's playing the C minor, but, you know, it's still the C minor, you know what I'm saying, at the, at the end of every turnaround, okay? So let's play what we have all together. the whole song okay it's really just that loop that's it that's it that's it that's it okay so yes we love summer walker marvin gay jr's daughter super bluesy jazzy girl and good luck with this song also subscribe like the video comment get it a part of the algorithm thank you